Hi, my name is Sari from Indonesia. It's such an honor to be a keynote speaker at Pele Learning Festival 2021. First, let me express my gratitude to Mira Kim for her positivity and endless encouragement. To Jackie and Inoka for valuable teaching and to all of you for your support. Let me begin with this. I have learned English since I was in primary school. At school, I learned grammar a lot, but less in speaking practice. Even when we practice speaking, it's like memorizing the dialogue we made initially. So I'm not used to speaking spontaneously, logically, without gut fillers. Yeah, gut fillers occur when I overthink the right words before speaking. I also struggle with English Shua because of my mother tongue. I tend to pronounce function words like auxiliary verbs, prepositions, in a full written pronunciation. To overcome these issues, I carried out my project to enhance my English speaking structure and rhythm by making a one minute summary and imitating a sentence a day. This is how I implemented my project. First, I watch a documentary video a day. After watching the video, I recorded myself when delivering one minute summary. And for your information, there was no written summary prepared before. Second, I imitated a sentence or two from British and Australian speakers. And then the third, I was actively involved in social clubs. I joined singing club, conversation club, and shut up and write club. Then I measured the progress by checking the recordings with my speaking buddies. I asked them, do you get the information completely? Do you understand my speech clearly? And I also count how many gap fillers occurred in my speech. And for the rhythm, I compared my voice recording to the original video. Okay, do you think my project went well? Ha, <laughs> unfortunately not. I was demotivated due to the pandemic crisis and the extended closure of Australian borders. The situation had a significant impact on my project and my PhD work. I felt lonely and isolated, just like this panda. However, the more I got involved in the Pele community, participated in the lectures, joined some social clubs, the more I enjoyed implementing my project and also doing my PhD work. I feel so connected with the participants. I learned a lot from them, how they also struggled with their overseas online learning, how they tried to stop procrastinating. And most important, I learned how to care for and support each other. I love how Pele helped not only my English enhancement, but also my attitude towards life. Here, we share our thoughts, culture, and interest, and nobody is judgmental. Is it lovely to be accepted for who you are? Isn't it nice to hear that's okay if you made mistakes? And from that, it was like my turning point. I got up and got motivated to start all over again. In, and every day, every time I woke up in the morning, I just remember that I have to be better and better person. You know what? I found Pele that whether the course or the community is a source of motivation, a source of happiness. Let me show you one example. Three, two, one. I join Pele. I join singing club. And hey. now I'm happy doing PhD. Because of you all, I feel connected. Please don't take my happiness away. Oh, you, sorry. Yay. Wonderful, sorry. Yay! Great. 
Yay, pandemic doesn't stop us to make fun. I realized I didn't make significant improvement, but I believe I keep growing. I will finish my presentation by saying this. Loneliness is not lack of company. Loneliness is lack of purpose. And in Pele, I learned to find my purpose in life. Thank you for listening. Bye.